morning. It is currently 3.55 in the morning. And while this is no typical day, it's just another day in the life of a Quinnipiac student. My name is Eliza Kaplan, and before I formally introduce myself, I'm just gonna wake up a little bit more. All right, good morning again. Now that I'm officially more awake, so as I mentioned, my name is Eliza Kaplan and today is Game Forum. So I'm headed to New York. Coming from Boston, I don't really go to New York that often. So I'm super excited for today and to hear professionals speak about the financial industry. On campus, I'm actually the project manager of the Central European Institute's student-run consulting team. So at with them, I actually help startup companies from Hungary and Poland enter the U.S. market. I'm also a, a graduate student in the Career Development Office, and with them, I run a lot of awesome programs on campus, like the mentorship program, where I pair students with mentors in the real world, and also Junior Achievement Day, where I think right now we have 52 students signed up next to go to a school on, on Friday and teach kids about what's happening in the business, about business concepts. So what is this game that I'm going to? It's actually the Global Asset Management Education Forum that Quinnipiac has been putting on for, I think this is the ninth year. So this forum brings together an international group of current and future leaders from the financial services industry. And over the course of this two and a half day innovative conference, there's 148 panelists, speakers, workshop presenters, judges that are represent 106 firms with 1500 college students representing 154 colleges and universities from 50 countries and 46 states. So this is a really large scale event focused more for the students. I'm really looking forward to the conversations that are going to be held today and learning more about the important developments, challenges, and opportunities that face investment professionals today as this all has an impact on our life and the decisions we make. I am currently eating some breakfast, reviewing my resume that I'm planning on bringing to so I can use this as a networking opportunity, and reviewing my list of things I have to do on the bus. Because as students, you're never not working. Good morning, where are we going today? Over here, we have my friend Kate. Hi. Kate, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Catherine DeMary. I am an undergrad marketing major, and I'm in my graduate program, so four plus one. Um, I am part of the Women's Business Center, and I also run my own business. Cool. Now you got a new portfolio. How exciting is that? Super excited. Woohoo! Here's all the students just trying to speak to the speakers. A great one-on-one -on -one opportunity to network and to get your questions answered. Here we are. I found Casey. We have classes together, MBA classes. Casey's working in the event. Can you tell us what it's, how it's going? It's uh, it's been going pretty well so far. Um, just like it does every year. Um, <laughs> this is actually my third year. I've been lucky enough to wow. work this conference. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, just it's a it's a great conference. You get the opportunity to meet and network with a lot of yes. uh, really intelligent um, and successful people um, within the field. And it's just it's a wonderful experience. So what an awesome opportunity for students from all over. Obviously, we're so proud that Quinnipiac yeah. is hosting it. The students here are really pros, uh, taking care of any of the logistics and any of the questions from the audience. Hello, so here we are in line for the professional headshot right now, and here's a student that doesn't go to Quinnipiac, but he goes to St. John's, 
I'm from Connecticut. He's so from I Connecticut. Know. He's from Wallingford, so right next door. Uh, what made you come to the game forum today? My uh, career brother said it would be a good experience to learn about you know, professional finance. Okay, so I'm just walking in New York City down to Bryant Park to go meet a friend who graduated from Quinnipiac, I think three years ago. And just to recap my ideas on the speakers and the students and the interaction between the two, that's been really cool to see because the students are asking really thought-provoking questions. And it's exciting to hear kind of that this is our future and that we are going to change the world someday, you know? All right, here I am, met up with a, an alumni. Greg, hey, introduce how's yourself. How's it going? I'm Greg, graduated in 2016 uh, with international business degree. What now, are you up to now? And now I'm working for uh, Kind Snacks in their operations department. Nice, and always make connections and network with your people, oh, so yeah. you have free bars like this. Kind right. swag. <laughs> Good to see you, Greg. So I'm looking forward to getting back for the global market strategy and investment strategy panels. So getting close and I'll catch you up at the panels. Here I am with Dean O'Connor, Dean of the Business School. What is your favorite part about GAME? Well, what I think is the best part about GAME is the ability of students to connect with each other. So we have students from about 150 schools here. We have almost 1,300 students, and their ability to make connections uh, is going to be really, really fruitful for the rest of their careers. All right, they're closing down game for him. What was our takeaway? What I learned from game was don't get a company mixed up with this product when you're investing in it. And I just think it was really cool how we got to talk about things like Brexit all the way to what stocks you should invest in to what was their biggest career mistake. So I think the panelists did a great job today. Yeah, it was nice to hear from professionals what they regret or what their mistakes were in their career and how we can learn from that. I think it was a really unique opportunity that we got and it, I'm happy we came. Thanks, Quinnipiac. Thank you. Game, it's been fun. Sad to be it's leaving. Been good. It's been good fun. Lots of learning. We're headed back to Hamden. I'd love to share just a few key things that resonated with me throughout today. Number one, be global when talking finance. You should be watching all of the news stations, not just the ones that you agree with. Number two, have an opinion and base it on facts. Look at the numbers and at the science. Should be self-explanatory. Number three, build a portfolio with balance. You gotta take into account what could be happening in the economy. Number four, Read the footnotes of a financial statement first. Number five, which is my favorite tip of all, have a poor passport and use it. Think globally in all and everything you do. Thank you for watching my experience at the Quinnipiac Game Forum. Thanks so much.